What should teenagers these days really start paying attention to as they're about to turn 18? Traffic rules. Please. Take it TF seriously. Don't be afraid to make mistakes. But don't risk mistakes that will severely compromise the rest of your life. What I see. Across cultures and countries. Is an enormous pressure to be perfect. So high that no one can ever possibly meet the pressure. So. People make mistakes. As they should. The problem is that the pressure to be perfect makes all mistakes seem the same. Risk losing some money. Risk making relationship mistakes. Risk losing friends. Risk losing a year. Those are fine. Don't risk six figures of debt which means student loans without a degree. Good major. And good GPA to show for it. College is a great investment if you also put the time and effort in to succeed. Don't risk disease. Don't risk death. Don't risk pregnancy. Don't risk drug addiction. Don't risk a felony conviction. Take the kinds of risks your 25-year-old self will laugh at. Don't take the kinds of risks your 25-year-old self will curse you for saddling them with. Edit. Clarifying that I'm not saying college is a bad investment. Just that you should be smart about it and also put the effort in to make sure the investment pays off. Be social but remember friends will come and go. Don't invest in people that want invest in you. Smoking. Started with SIG so I could take breaks at work, construction, 22 now and can't quit vaping. Sucks. Learn some basic cooking. Learn how to wash clothes. Hang them up. Do ironing etc. You may be moving out soon. So practice the skills you will need. Imagine all the things you would have to do if mum and dad weren't around. Then start practicing them. Draw up a budget. Look at how much to rent in the place you want to live. Add in food and elec and mobile phone and internet. Don't forget to add bond too. Taxes. How to vote. How to write emails. I've had to teach several first years at my university how to do this. How you organize a day without the structure of school. That planned environment is going away fast and some of your peers are really going to struggle with finding their pace and motivation. Also. Procrastination is a. Listen to your desires and dreams. I'm 28. My goals and dreams now are vastly different than when I was 18. Listen to those changes. For a long time I kept chasing a dream almost because I felt I owed it to my younger self. It's okay for your dreams to change as you age and your circumstances change. Who you are now will not be the same person you are at 23. And as you grow listen to your internal monologue. Dreams and desire change. Grow with them. Taking care of your physical and mental health before you fall into the trap of, I don't have time for it. Really sit down and think about how you can better yourself for your own sake. Authorized user is sort of a cheat code in the credit world. If your parents have decent credit and take care of their. See if they'll make you an O on a card and then lock the card up in a box. Being O makes the credit history of the account show up on your credit report. If financial responsibility is a big deal in your house. This can have some major advantages when you're trying to get started. Relationships. As soon as you hit 18 things start becoming real. Don't get married without being sure of your future spouse. Don't go unprotected during. Don't get into a relationship where your other half will get you in trouble with the law. Your data trail online. Old Instagram and Facebook posts can come back and haunt you during future interviews. Learn how to take care yourself. Take full responsibility for everything that is happening in your life. Create big goals and have a life purpose if you have one. Focus on saving money and don't buy stupid to impress people you don't even like. Getting together. 18 isn't the age you should be thinking you're a full-blown adult. Nah. You need to venture into the 20s for that. But between 18 and 21. You just gotta get your together. No matter what it is. Financial. Mental. Physical. Just do whatever it takes to make sure you can fully prosper from stressed out teen to a battle hardened grown up. I'm 17 and will be turning 18 later this year. So I look forward to reading these responses smiley face. Don't be afraid to walk away from a job person that's toxic start saving now so you can walk away community college as your best friend. Go there before doing the last two years at a four years trade schools are just as viable. Ain't no shame in being debt free at 22 making 60 plus 3 to 5 percent of all income should go to retirement starting now, go open a Roth 401k. Develop healthy habits now. Proper nutrition. 
a steady sleep schedule, regular exercise, etc. You are in a fantastic position to build a healthy lifestyle that will elevate your quality of life for the rest of it. It is much, much harder to change existing unhealthy habits that have been established for years. Most people aren't able to. Give yourself the best chance for a lifetime of health and happiness now. Learn how to learn. Most of us had no idea how to do taxes. Get a mortgage. Vote. Fix a broken electrical socket. Etc. You just need to know where to go to learn things and I think the younger generations are already exceptional at finding information. But there's some sort of learned helplessness people have, especially those who didn't have to learn things while they lived at home, where if something seems confusing or hard they give up versus actually searching out more information. Sometimes YouTube is great. Sometimes you need to call an expert. Sometimes you need a class. Example. Check R personal finance to see how many people post about not understanding their car loans or mortgages or just giving up on filing taxes for years because it's hard. Just learn about things before you jump in. Your mental health. Don't set so many goals for yourself that the stress makes your mental health suffer. Take some time for yourself. To do nothing. Just recharge. Even if it's only a couple hours a week. It gives you something to look forward to. Also. Learn how to budget and save. Networking for job prospects seriously. Just getting out and building a social network can help so much especially if you're networking in the same field as you're going into. Read every document that you sign. You are now accountable for everything you put your name to. Careers that have lasting happiness. Financial stability. And ways to move around in a field to prevent or in case of burnout not cooking is what I'm trying to say. Time management. Finances. Forgoing college and working for a few years. They should really begin to try and understand why they are doing the things they are doing. Are you just going to college because that is what your teachers and parents are saying you should do? Is it a practical choice? College can be good but a lot of jobs you could have gotten with a degree you can get without one. You may just end up robbing your future self for a delayed adolescence. If you're plagued with debt and existential dread. Please consider these at the bare minimum, clean your teeth twice a day with a soft, extra soft brush plus fluoride toothpaste. Hard brushes are inefficient in cleaning small crevices and are prone to sanding away your enamel. Floss 2. Apply physical sunscreens containing titanium, zinc oxide for any amount of sun exposure. Chemical sunscreens are effective but will cause tanning and pose a higher risk of free radical damage. Keep hydrated by leaving full water bottles around your desk or workspace. Turn it into a routine rather than an exception incorporate legumes, whole grains, and vegetables into your diet. Otherwise, the constipation will force you to spend more time on the toilet and lend a higher risk of anal prolapse, hemorrhaging, other declines in quality of life get those Z's bro. Chronic sleep deprivation will shorten your life expectancy and predispose you to depression and anxiety hug your heckin pet for that free oxytocin. I'd personally say student loans. Don't major in a field where your student loans equal twice as much as your starting salary. Medical, law may be exempt. Who's you? Who out there really has your back and is a straight shooter? When are you just getting a sales pitch? Don't get me wrong. There is nothing wrong with being sold to. But know how to recognize when you are just buying hype and buzzwords. Learn how to use an Excel or Google Sheet and make a budget. Live by it. Get a bank account. Get checks. Budget will help here for people who don't cash checks timely, whatever extra money you have, if you do. Divide it by two. Save half. Enjoy the other half. That will keep you from feeling burned out. Your social media profiles. More and more good paying jobs are conditional upon a background check that involves social media research. More and more companies want who you are as a person to make sure you'll be a good personality fit for the company. Skills are only part of the picture. To better gauge this, invasive social media screening is done. The separation between personal life and professional life is quickly being eroded. Teachers get fired for their social media posts. You could be one bong picture away from losing a $75,000 per year job to someone else. Even if that picture was taken a long time ago, e.g. You're 22, graduating college and a background check found something you posted four years ago that is used against you. So start being careful about what you post online now.
Because in the future it may bite you in the real hard. And you might not even realize it. <laughs>